Iowa State fans are giving thanks for their senior class, especially today. It's senior day. This is one of the best senior classes ever to come through the program. Hi, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving alongside the Michigan man, Devin Gardner. I'm Chris Vosters. You, if you do it the right way like me, you know, you, you play a little bit and then you play a little more and then you're the starter and then you come out with your family and you participate in senior day. Griffin Kell with the kickoff, and this is returned by Jalen Null, the freshman. Another third and long for TCU. Iowa State brings four. Duggan deals. He was teammates with, get this, point guard Trey Young, and this young man is gone to the end zone. Number 21, Jirel Brock for a touchdown. No points on first and 10 from the 14. Purdy throws to Hutchinson, who follows his blockers downfield and uses some speed to sneak all the way out to the 40-yard line, playing in his final home game at Jack Trice Stadium. First and 10, here's Brees Hall looking for history. Hall with his 24th straight game with a rushing touchdown. Ball once again on Iowa State side of the 50. Inside of two minutes to go until halftime. Duggan throws it complete. And Blair Conright breaks a tackle and is into the end zone for a TCU touchdown. TCU has converted three of its last four third downs. Duggan with all day, finally runs out of time, and Will McDonald the fourth throws him down. McDonald leads the nation over the course of the last two seasons in sacks. That's his 22nd, and the punt is blocked. And the NCAA record book, too, for that matter. Here he is out of the backfield on a swing pass. Pretty good out of the backfield. Brees Hall, one on the ground, one through the air. Can they? Is the question. <laughs> Second and ten for TCU, and Duggan is hit and dropped. Watch Isaiah Lee. He's defeating his block so quickly. Pressure up the middle, and Duggan runs out of time. Any Uazurike. Eight and a half sacks for him this season. Here's third and 21, final minute of the third. Duggan, deep middle, and the pass is caught by Tay Barber. Fourth and two. He uses his arm, Devin. Intercepted by Greg Eisworth, the second. First and 10 from the 20 for Iowa State on offense. Brees Hall having a career night, and it's getting a lot better. One man to beat. Hutchinson blocking for Hall. It's a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, that, that run was special, and, and, and once again, all the reasons why he's so special and so talented were put on full display. Darius Davis on the return for TCU. A good return for Darius Davis out across midfield. Mevis, the kicker, tried to slow him down, and Porter elbowed him out of bounds. And on second and goal, you see a big man split out wide. Duggan throws over the middle, and the pass is caught for a touchdown by Luke Dodds. Take a targeting call in the second half of the final game of the regular season. Bowl eligible teams would have that player miss the first half of the bowl game. And here is Xavier Hutchinson who can block and he can run after the catch as well. Second and goal. Hall. He's got his fourth. Yeah, absolutely. Those guys up front are definitely moving the pile. First and ten for TCU. Duggan is dragged down and sacked. And somehow he finds that monster, and he makes the catch for a first down. There's Chase Allen to finish what he started. Allow these young men to continue to finish. You don't see a bunch of blitzing or anything, but you do see them playing hard and giving them a chance to make plays like you see right here on this set. Duggan finally dragged down by Tucker Robertson, and he wins 16 out of 17 games at home against the Big 12. Iowa State wins on an emotional senior day in Ames.